My brothers and sisters in Christ, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Januarius, uh, an early, early church bishop and martyr. And so the, the story of his life is, is not well recorded. There's not a ton of details to it. But ultimately, the story is that uh, he, he went to, to visit uh, some of the people of the church who were in prison when he himself was in imprisoned and sentenced to be martyred with them. And as the story has it, they were fed to the wild beasts in the arena, but the, the, the beasts would not touch them. And so eventually they had to just behead uh, Januarius and those being martyred with him. And so, the story, we know there's many incredible stories of martyrdom from the early church. But one of the other great legacies of this particular saint and martyr is that he reminds us of so much that modern man and his arrogance tries to explain the world and creation away without God. Uh, God gets elbowed out of the picture, of course, by those who are atheist, but also those often who just want to compartmentalize God out of things. And occasionally in creation, there are those miracles which science cannot explain that remind us of our humility before God. And St. Januarius is the source of one of those. In fact, his blood has been kept since the time of his martyrdom uh, in, the, in the fourth century. And his blood is kept in a reliquary in the, the Basilica in Naples and it is exposed at, at different times uh, throughout the year for veneration, and at times the blood reliquifies and then goes back to its solid state. And at times scientists have been brought in to study, to explain the phenomenon, and are completely stumped. There is no scientific explanation that has been able to be produced for this ongoing. It's not, this isn't a one-time miracle. This is something to this present day that continues to happen in Naples when the blood of, of St. Januarius is exposed for veneration. And so, regardless of one's theories and what they think of this, the, this miracle of which there are many to our present day, and often those are unknown to a lot of the faithful, but that remind us that the, the mysteries of God are in many ways beyond us. Yes, he has given us great minds and our senses to apprehend creation, the natural world, the things around us, and we're called to use those gifts. And yet, there are things that remind us constantly as well that he is God and we are not. He is the creator and we are the mere creature. And so, at these times of these miracles or these things that defy human explanation, defy explanations of science, we're called not just to be confused, but to allow that to remind us of this humility and wonder and to give praise to God and ask him to open not only our minds, but our hearts to that which he wishes to reveal to us. St. Januarius, pray for us.